Ezra chapter 7. Now after these things, chapters 1 through 6, and after these things is 60 years. And this is the first time that Ezra shows up. He has not been in Jerusalem. Because look, in the reign of Arzixis, king of Persia, you've had uh, Cyrus who ordered the Jews to go back. Then you had Darius. Then you had Arzixis. So the temples are already there. The Jews have already been there when Ezra shows up. King of Persia. Ezra, now this is a genealogy of Ezra. Look who he is. Ezra, the son of Syria, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahijah, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Mariah, the son of Zeriah, the son of Uzai, the son of Buckai, the son of Abisha, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eliezer, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. So Ezra is of Aaron. He is a priest, not just a Levite, but a priest. And he can trace his genealogy back. That's going to have to happen somehow in the, tri in the tribulation period, I'm going to say before, uh, definitely after. But before, I don't know. But the Jews are going to know who they are, especially the Levites and the priests, because that temple is coming back. Or maybe there'll be a false priesthood. I mean, 144,000 are Jewish people. This Ezra went up from Babylon. And he was a ready. That means he's prepared. He is fitted. He is furnished. Scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. So he knows the law. He knows God through the law. And the king granted him, our Xerxes, all his requests, according to all the hand of the Lord, his God, upon him. So, again, we're seeing another king granting to the Jewish people whatever you need to build that temple. We're not looking at the city yet. We're looking at the temple. And we're going to run with a couple verses in this chapter. The goats and the sheep when Jesus Christ comes back. Now if this, and it's not, but if this was the tribulation period. Our Xerxes will get to go into the land when Jesus Christ reigns because he helped the Jews. And Jesus said those that helped the Jews, I was in prison, I was hungry, I had needs and you met them. Enter thou into the joy that the Lord has for them in the millennium. And any nation that's against them, and we've had them in Ezra, they want to stop the temple, they want to stop the Jews. You didn't take care of me, you didn't help me, you didn't offer to me. Depart from me to the everlasting fire. I never knew you. So it's a kind of picture that if you help the Jew at, through the tribulation period, when Christ comes, you go into the millennial kingdom. If you don't help the Jew, then you're cursed. And it follows by those that J Jesus said to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I will bless them that bless you. Our Xerxes is doing that. I will curse them that curse you, the enemies in the land already. The king granted him all his requests according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. So God is controlling Unlike Pharaoh who hardened his heart, our Xerxes said, Lord, I'll do whatever you want me to do. And Pharaoh had that same opportunity too. Pilate, Nero, and all of them. And there went up some of the children of Israel, some, note that. Daniel never went, or at least it's never recorded, Daniel went. There are Jews that stayed in Babylon. And of the priests, and of the Levites, two different classes. All priests are Levites, but not all Levites are priests. And the singers, and the porters, doorkeepers, and the Nephilims, unto Jerusalem in the seventh year of Artaxerxes the king. And he, Ezra, came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. For upon the first day of the first month, 
began he to go up to Babylon. And on the first day of the fifth month, he came to Jerusalem. So it took exactly four months, leaving the first month and arriving in the fifth month. Four months it takes you to get from Babylon to Jerusalem. According to the good hand of his God upon him. There were no robberies. There was no thieves. There was a good journey. This is a verse to be known. For Ezra prepared his heart, not his head. Any minister should be in this verse. To seek the law of the Lord. If you know the law, you know the sin. Even today in the church age period, the law will tell you you're a sinner. Now the law can't save you and never will save you. But if you're going to get up and preach, you better know what sins are. You better know what, what God hates. And the law says this is what God says he hates and this is what God says he likes. To do it. James says, be ye doers of the word, not hearers only. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And many do not do it. Ezra's teaching the people, do it, for he's a doer. And to teach Israel the statute and the judgment. A preacher, teacher, is to teach you the word of God. Not their opinions. Not the worldly opinion, but what the Bible truly says. Now this is a copy. We've come three copies so far in letters. What do you do with, when somebody comes up to you and says, Oh, the original autograph. The original manuscript. When the Bible three times in the book of Ezra says, The copy, the copy, the copy. Jeremiah is going to rewrite the word and add to it. The king after hers gave to e unto Ezra the priest, the scribe, even the scribe of the words and the commandments of the Lord and his statutes of Israel. So Ezra will show up in Jerusalem with a letter of the king. And you'll find this as Xerxes in a book, hopefully we'll get to, Lord willing, Esther 1.1. So to show you what period of time we are in, our Xerxes, king of kings, that's his name means, our third. Now we know Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. I believe Nebuchadnezzar has written that title too, King of Kings. But there is one King, capital K of Kings, the Lord Jesus Christ. And this man does right in the realm of, of the Jews. Nebuchadnezzar kinds of do right, and he gets right according to the book of Daniel. He believes on, the, on God, the Almighty God, and then he falls off the face of the earth. And you don't hear anything about him. And there's a message in King of Kings of the Bible. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar, Aurexerxes, and Jesus. On to Ezra the priest. This is who it's written to. Dear Ezra, a scribe of the law, of the God of heaven. Oh, look at that. There's a God in heaven, and he belongs to Ezra. Not Allah, not the Pope, not Mary, but Jehovah. Perfect peace comes from God. And at such a time, I make a decree. We've seen that all through the book of Ezra. And it's a law. It's a statement that all they of the people of Israel, Hebrews, and of his priests, Levites, and the Levites who are not priests, in my realm, the, the, the realm of his kingdom, which are minded of their own free will, I'm not forcing you to go to Jerusalem and go with me. Now, remember, we just read many went to Jerusalem. Not all. They were not obligated. They could have stayed in Babylon, and many did. The king did not force them to go. For as much as thou art sent of the king, write that down. The king says, Ezra, go to Jerusalem, that temple. They need you. By a worldly king. By a, a Gentile king. Of God to say, Ezra, I have, I have duty of you. The king just said, of the Hebrews, of the priests, that's Ezra, of the Levites, 
He's of the family life, but he's a free. He says, you have the free will to go or not go. And then he tells Ezra, you're going. <laughs> and Ezra could have said no, but. And of his seven counselors, men to go with him, authority, to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem, according to the law of thy God, which is in thy hand. Oh, guess who's carrying the script? Guess who's carrying the scriptures? Guess who has the rolls and the scrolls of the books of Moses? Ezra. They have been protected in Babylon those 70 years. And Ezra has them. And the scribe would rewrite the scriptures when they're fallen, decay, or need to be redone. And to carry the silver, notice that the word went first, then the silver and gold. Notice the word went first, which the king and his counselors have freely offered unto the God of Israel, whose habitation is in Jerusalem. All right, silver and gold, which the king and our Xerxes and his counselors, his, his parliament, his cabinet, the king and his people have given money to go to Jerusalem, the Gentiles. Man, you're seeing a type of tribulation period. And if this were the tribulation period, those that help the Jews, God will bless them. And there is a temple in the tribulation period. And when they help the Jews, they will get to go in the millennium. What better temple to have is the temple when Jesus Christ will be there, seated upon David's throne. And Jesus records in the book of Matthew that when they do help the Jews, they have no idea what they're doing. And we don't know if our Zerky has any. I mean, he already told them, we read through the book of Ezra so far, pray for the king. You know, we need your help. We need God's help. And there's not been mentioned G-O-D-S. And there's not been mentioned goddesses. They are relying on the one true God of the Hebrews. That thou mayest buy speedily with the money, bullocks, rams, lambs, with their meat offerings and their drink offerings. This is why the money was taken up by the king and his counselor. Sacrifices to, to your God. You're not going to use it for hamburger. You're going to use it to make the sacrifice and the burnt offerings to God. Them upon the altar, the house of the Lord your God, which is in Jerusalem. No other altars. It's it's not plural. It's one altar. It'll be that brazen altar. Take that money and buy the sacrifices that you need that God may be happy with all of them. There's no groves. There's no statues. And there's no multiple altars. And there's no high places. And whatsoever shall seem good to thee, and to thy brethren, now this would be what's left over the money. Do with the rest of the silver and gold that do after the will of your God. Whatever's left over, whatever God needs it for, use it. The vessels also that are given thee for the service of the house of God, these deliver thou before the God of Jerusalem, bowls, spoons, whatever. They're gods. We give them. And whatsoever more shall be needful, that's the only time, I mean, that's the first time that shows up, needful. For the house of thy God, which thou shalt occasion to bestow, bestow it out of the king's treasure house. You find that in Philemon chapter 19. He says, you need anything more? You contact me, it'll come out of my treasure. I'll take care of your needs. Is it quite possible we will see our Xerxes in heaven? I'll bless them that bless you. And I, even our, yeah, I, our Xerxes the king, do make a decree with all the treasures which are beyond the river, and whatsoever Ezra the priest describe the law of the God of heaven, 
shall require of you it be done speedily. Whatever he says, do it fast. Unto a hundred talents of silver, unto a hundred measures of wheat to make bread, a hundred baths of wine, and to a hundred baths of oil, and salt without prescribing how much. Find that Leviticus 2.13. God says salt, and you better have salt, and you better put more salt. It almost sounds like to me, and I'm stepping my, my head out, it looks like Ezra's been teaching our Xerxes what the law said. He knows Mordecai or Esther. I mean, how does he know about bulls and rams and land? And that's exactly found in the law. And then burnt offerings, meat offerings, oil, meat salt. Whatsoever is commanded by the God of heaven. Now he just went above Ezra. <laughs> Wherever God commands. Let it be let it be diligently done for the house of the God of heaven. For why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his son? Artaxerxes fears the God of heaven, the God of Jerusalem, the God of the temple, and the God of Hebrews. If I don't appease that God, wrath is coming. If you had Artaxerxes today in the church age, and you met a man just like this. This man will get saved. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is to understand the knowledge of the Holy. You don't meet many Artaxerxes today. He fears God and he fears his children. This man's a type of Job. Remember Job prayed for his children? Job offered offering for his children in case they sin. Also, we certify, make it assured, we sure uh, certify you that touching any of the priests and Levites, singers, porters, Nephilim, or ministers of the house of God. Now, what is that minister? He gets the water, he gets the wood, he cleans the ashes, he gets the, the wheat, he gets this, he gets that, he does that. And many men are called ministers today don't do nothing for the church, unless the church do it for them. It shall not be lawful, that's the first time that word shows up, to impose, that's the only time that word shows up, a toll, a tribute, or custom upon them here is a clergy here is the pre the priest the singers the levite they don't have to pay taxes or they don't have to pay a toll they are exempt you found joseph had to do that in egypt with the with the heathen priest for the heathen gods here you see it for the hebrews And the American church said, well, that applies to us, so give us our tax. You'll find it. You know what Jesus said about taxes? Peter, go pay him. Go get the, go get the coin out of the fish's mouth. You know what Paul says in chapter 13 of Romans? You pay your taxes. I think the church is going to, and the, and the preachers, and the teachers, and those that take off the tax in this country, I think they're going to be found at fault. <laughs> Only two people in the Bible that you see are Hebrews and the priests of Pharaoh. And thou, Ezra, after the wisdom of thy God, God gives wisdom, that is in thy hand. What was in his hand? The law. What's the law according to our Xerxes? That's wisdom. The Bible is written by man. Our Xerxes says that Bible that is in your hand, the first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, that's your wisdom. Can you imagine some idiot getting, oh, the Bible is not, uh, we dealt with a guy, the Bible's full of life. Can you imagine that guy standing before God, the great white throne, judging? Our Xerxes, come here. 
if he's in heaven. All right, sir, come here. I got something for you. You want to tell this man here that did that thought my Bible was a lie? You want to tell him he knew only saw five books in the Bible? You want to tell him what it is? Oh, it's in wisdom, God. Thank you. You want to be wise? You don't go to a textbook. You go to the Bible. Wisdom of thy God that is in thy hand. Set magistrates. That's the first time that word shows up. And judges which may judge all the people that are beyond the river. That be Euphrates. So you need judges. You need leaders in your land. Ezra, you set them up. Why? Because you've got the law in your hand. You know how to choose people. You know how to pick people. And the law says when you choose a leader, a judge, they're to follow the law. They're to know the law. And who knows the law now? Ezra. The laws of thy God and teach ye, yeah, teach ye them that know them not. Well, as we already said, I've set my heart to teach. The king says, go and teach them. Now notice he says here, the laws of thy God. He says, thy God, thy God, thy God. He doesn't realize that God is his God. By doing what he's doing, again, that's a tribulation saint. Has come out of tribulation and is judged by God to be found a sheep. Net. When did we take care of you, Lord? When did we help you, Lord? When did we do this, Lord? When you did it unto the least of my brethren. Our Xerxes believes and trusts and fears the God of heaven. And he doesn't even realize that God said, hey, you're, you're mine. And whosoever will not do the law of thy God and the law of the king. Oh, there's Romans 13. <laughs> In the Old Testament. Obey the powers that be and obey God. Let judgment be executed speedily upon him. That's where we get the right to a speedy trial. That takes eight years. Sorry. Uh, judgment actually will speak upon it, whether it be unto death, the death penalty, or to banishment. That's the first time that word shows up. You're gone, you're out of here. Leave. Or the consecration, that's the only time that word shows up, of goods. The pilgrims that became the congregational church did what we're reading now. If you were not the congregational church in Norwich, Connecticut, as I studied, they would take your cow, they would take your chickens, they would take your farm. For the sake of the congregational church, and go look it up yourself, I did, and read it all. And read the names of the people that were had confiscating of goods, because they didn't belong to the congregational church. They were called separate. Or imprisonment, and the only other word that it shows up, that's the first time, is Hebrews 11.36. And again, that was the Congregational Church up north, and the Anglican Church down south. So the king says to Ezra, you set up judges, you set up men, and you have the right to pronounce judgment against them. Blessed be the Lord God of our fathers, Ezra, thanking the, the Lord. Ezra's read this letter like, wow, Lord, thank you. Which has put such a thing as in, uh, as this in the... Try it again. Blessed be the Lord God of our fathers, Ezra. Which has put such a thing, the letter, as this in the king's heart, the head, with the heart man believes unto righteousness. What is what is our Xerxes doing? To beautify, that's the first time that word shows up. The house of the Lord. Now, you say by beautify. Did not the apostles 
walking with Jesus. Oh, Jesus, see how great this house is? And Jesus blew him out of the water and said, oh, you know, there won't be a rock upon another rock. It's 70 AD, boys. Which is in Jerusalem. And has extended, that's the first time that word shows up. Extended mercy unto me, that's God to Ezra, before the king Artaxerxes and his counselors, and before all the king's mighty princes. So this was done open. It wasn't done in a closet. And I, Ezra, was strengthened as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me. Man, that made me like, wow. God, I can't believe what you just did. And I gathered together out of Israel chief men to go up with me. So just before he goes, we already read, he went, but I mean, he's recalling back, this is the letter, and this is what I did, and we're going to go through the people that are going to go with him. 